Hi everyone, I'm Sushmita and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a Durga Puja makeup look. I've paired up this look with a red and white sari, which is a typical Bengali look. But you can still wear this look with a lot more outfits. So yeah, let's get started. I'm going to start off with prepping my skin really well, for which I'm using the Himaira Vitamin C Toner. And I'm going to go ahead and spritz it all over my face. You can also use any toner or rose water that you like. Then I'm using the Simple Hydrating Light Moisturizer. It is a very lightweight and runny moisturizer which seeps into your skin so very easily without looking oily or greasy. So it's a great option for oily to combination skin types. It's also sensitive skin friendly. For primer, I'm using the Mars Glow Clock Primer. It has a very gel-like texture and gives you a very beautiful glowing skin. It also has a tacky feel to it so it also acts like a gripping primer. Primer. Then for foundation, I'm using the Nykaa All Day Matte Foundation in the shade Nutmeg 09. It's a little lighter tone for my skin and also has a little bit of neutral undertone. But as you blend it, you can see it just kind of oxidizes and then camouflages into my skin. It also has like a very beautiful seamless look, almost gives you like a medium to high coverage. If you can find yourself a good shade match, it's a really good foundation. Then for concealer, I'm using the Swiss Beauty Liquid Concealer in the shade 01. It is the darkest concealer out of all the six shades that they have. And honestly, it's a little too yellow and little too dark for my complexion. But I really love the way it just gives back the hint of warmth into my skin since I'm a warm undertone skin. So the foundation which neutralized my skin just gave back the warmth in my skin through the concealer which I really like it out there it again blends into my skin really well gives you a very beautiful seamless finish then I'm using a highlighting concealer because again I used a darker concealer as well so I'm using the wet n wild photo focus concealer in the shade medium tawny and I'm using it on the center of my face basically and blending it out by the way I'm using all of the brushes from Mars cosmetics which is I think one of the best brushes that I own Next up, I'm using the Blue Heaven Strobe and Shape Highlighter and Contour Duo Stick to carve out my face. It's, I think, a fantastic product and it just, just blends into my skin so very well. It's a very creamy contour and I really like it. So as you can see, I'm starting off with dabbing motion and then swiping the brush across the same contour line without blending it like all over my face. And just be a little precise is all I'm going to say. And that's it. I'm following the same routine for the nose and jaw contouring. Moving on to my favorite part, my blush. I'm using the Just Have Slip and Cheek Tint in the shade 02 Peachy Coral. I'm applying it on the apples of my cheek and dragging it upward motion towards my temple. My oily T-zone needs a compact, so I'm using the Inside Cosmetics Flawless Finish Powder. I've not really seen a lot of people talk about this product, but honestly, this product has literally blown my mind. I really like the way it just mattifies my skin. I want that glow and the color back into my cheeks once again, so I'm using the Sugar Play Blush in the shade 01 Bussin. It's a shimmery blush and it does not have like a lot of color and a lot of pigment, so keep in mind if you want to purchase this product then for my eyebrows i'm using the miss claire waterproof eyebrow pencil in the shade gray and i'm just gonna apply it on the sparse areas of my eyebrows and as you can see i haven't really done my brows so i'm actually gonna carve out my eyebrows with the help of like a very flat thin brush i'm gonna take a little bit of concealer the swiss beauty one that i used previously and then for eyeshadow i'm using the patricia eyeshadow palette by makeup revolution it has all the colors you need but i'm using like a very neutral shade for which i'm using like a rusty orange and applying it on my eyelids and then using like a brown eyeshadow and apply it on the outer corner of my eyes while kind of just flicking the brush outside then I'm using like a glittery shiny silver and applying it on my eyelids. It just gives you like a magnificent look. I really like it and you don't really need any glue or anything. It just um, sticks up onto your eyelids just by itself. Then I'm using the same brown and applying it on the lower lash line as well. 
Then I'm using the 7 C's dark line eyeliner and doing a half eyeliner because I'm a half eyeliner gal. I don't like like a full on eyeliner these days at all. So that's what I'm doing. And then I'm going to go ahead and curl up my lashes because I really like my elongated lashes. And then I'm going to go ahead with the Nykaa Curl Power Waterproof Curling Mascara. Honestly, this is a very meh mascara i wouldn't really recommend it to you guys because it just does do nothing it does not curl my eyelashes at all and yeah you can surely pass this one i'm finishing off my eye look with the seven c's intense gel kajal in the shade gold for lips i decided to keep it like simple neutral and not the typical red so i did the swiss beauty bold matte lip liner in the shade bobby brown and then I followed it up with a liquid lipstick by Sugar Play in the shade 04 Stan and applying it on my lips. And uh, it's a little more pale for my skin personally. So I'm using Miss Claire lip liner in the shade Coffee Brown and applying it all over my lips. And finishing off this look with the Blue Heaven Long Lasting Makeup Fixer. It gives you a very glowy, dewy look that you want but does not really help as much in setting or making your makeup last long. I really hope you guys have a very prosperous days ahead since festive season is on. Do lots of pandal hopping as well. And yeah, if you really like this video, also go ahead and comment, like, share, do all those good things. And also subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I'll see you very soon. Bye.